So you're thinking about moving to Davie, Florida, or maybe Fort Lauderdale, Florida and the surrounding areas. Well, in this video, we will be discussing Davie. In fact, I'm going to cover Davie, Florida on a Google Maps. Pinpoint where everything is so that way you have a better understanding of Davie. Let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about Davie, Florida, or maybe Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the surrounding areas, then make sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to tap on that bell for notifications so you're the first to be notified about the current real estate market in the area. My name is Adela Philipson. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or maybe even in this case, Davy, Florida. Whether it's nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is down below in the description so we can help you move to Fort Lauderdale or Davy, Florida. Here's Davy. Now, Davy has a very defined line in terms of their city limits. So they are technically south of the 595 freeway for the most part north of Griffin Road. And I say most part because you do have these little pieces that droop south of Griffin Road here. And mind you, Seminole Hard Rock, that's Hollywood, not Davy. Um, but then it also is east of the 75 freeway. So for the most part, I would say 90, 95% of Davy is this rectangular, area right here so that's Davy. and if you haven't heard of Davy, Davy was really created more kind of like a, a a western cowboy town people used to call it like the west uh part and it was a lot of farmlands cowboys ranches horses because a lot of people um you know back in the 60s um and even 70s for the most part stayed east of the 95 freeway so going out west it was kind of like the country road but of course over time it got developed and now um it's funny the most western part is weston <laughs> hence weston west town weston so that is now on the other side of davy and i'll cover weston another time but specifically focusing on davy so this is where davy is i would say if you are considering moving to the southeast florida area and maybe fort lauderdale isn't your vibe want something a little bit more relaxed slow slow paced i would highly recommend davy and i am going to go into further detail of davy but just to give you kind of an idea of where davy is compared to the southeast florida general area so here is Miami, okay, South Park. Um, here's Hollywood. Here is Fort Lauderdale, of course, Pompano Beach, Boca Raton, even Del Rey, and then West Palm Beach or Palm Beach. Um, so Davy is about right here. Okay, let me do that again. Davy is about right here, if you can kind of see. Now, Davy is rather large, especially because it, it goes all the way to the 75 freeway. In fact, it does have a population a little over 100,000. Similar to Fort Lauderdale, if you were to look online or Google as far as the population for Fort Lauderdale. But the thing with Davy is you don't really have the snowbirds or snowflakes or uh, people airbnb or anything like that. You have more of that in Fort Lauderdale because Fort Lauderdale is a coastal, coastal city and the population in Fort Lauderdale, they don't have the entire population of, for example, Canadians who come for vacation or maybe live here six months out of the year and they have to go back or maybe um, other people in other states um, in the Northeast, or possibly people who just come here for three or four months out of the year, maybe another country, um, and they don't really include the tourists. So the population grows in Fort Lauderdale, but it's not necessarily the permanent residents. But in Davie, that's for the most part permanent um, residents. So Fort Lauderdale will double, triple, quadruple, depending on the season, whereas Davie will just kind of contain that same uh, about a little over 100,000 uh, residents. Davy is not far from Fort Lauderdale, especially since you can access it from the 595 freeway. So if you're on the 95, you just go down 
south and then shoot out west on the freeway. And then any of the exits you get off and make a left or go south takes you right into the city of Davie. Davie being somewhat similar in distance of Fort Lauderdale to everything else. So if you wanted to go up to Boca, you can take either the 441, the 75 freeway, or maybe even the 95 freeway. So here's this 75 freeway, the 441, and then the 95 freeway can all take you up to Boca. So it's very easy, of course, if you want to go over to Naples, you just go west on the 75 freeway. And then to get down to Miami, same thing. You can go along the 75, you can go down the 441, or maybe even the 95 freeway. Davie is a great location, especially since it's still central in this area. Davie does have lots to offer, some very fun parks and because it was developed much later and they did have the space to build out you will find major schools there uh, major shops there arenas um, it's just because of course they had time to build it out talk about parks first because they do have some of the most gorgeous parks I've seen so first and foremost tree tops park which is right here you don't even really see a palm tree there once you enter um, and there's this beautiful lake right here you see all these different trees um, pines just not palm trees basically so you yeah. kind of feel like you're in another country almost but they also offer like summer camps they even have the swan paddle wheelers it's just very picturesque they even have a, a viewpoint like you climb up and you get this top view of all these trees here here's that treetops um that's that view i was talking about you can kind of go up higher and get a view it's just fun for kids what can i say also have Vista View Park. This one's fun because it has hills and you might be wondering, well, why is that fun? Well, because Florida is very flat and it's very difficult to even find a hill, let alone a mountain. And when you go here, you really get some elevation without being like in a building and having that um, skyscraper kind of view. Um, but this is just like being on nature, going up and down hills, really being like on the top of the mountain um, and just being out in nature. So see, this is Vista View Park. Actually, this particular playground is at the end of Vista View Park. They do have the lake. Um, let me see if I can kind of show you what I mean. This is Vista View Park. I've, um, let's pretend you get off of Griffin Road, you go this way, um, oops, excuse me, here's the entry point, and then you kind of come this way, and then um, the playground is roughly around this area. This, these little trails, like if you go up, you're just kind of going up hills, this is where people walk, um, and you can even drive, and there's parking lots, these are all kind of the roads um, right there, but the playground areas you see in this picture, is actually located in this general area. You also have Flamingo Gardens. Um, that is where, of course, you can find flamingos, just like Coconut Creek has their butterflies. Um, here in Davie, you have the flamingos. Flamingo Gardens, they have lots of flamingos. It's just very picturesque, lots of wild birds, um, even alligators and turtles. So it's almost like going to a zoo, but you are in Florida. So you get a lot more of the tropical animals, exotic animals, I should say, going here. Still talking about uh, parks, they do have the Bamford Sports Complex. This is actually where they have more like an outdoor pool, um, basketball court, fitness center. Um, oh, here, skate park. It's just kind of have some more of the modern um, outdoor activities, not so much of the nature trail walks and hills. This So if you're looking for something, like I said, um, pools, playgrounds, skate park, um, basketball court, tennis court, um, just athletic fields, this is um, where a lot of that is. So as I mentioned, Davy has a lot of space, kind of took time to develop. So they do have a lot of big box stores. Um, they really have this space, but I just have to point out there, they do have this indoor skydiving every time I'm on the freeway with my kids. They always ask me if we can go. And quite frankly, I'm too afraid <laughs> to go. But this, they, you could see it from the freeway. It's like an ice store with a sign, which they did a really good job because it does get our attention. Um, but that would be really fun if 
that's what you're into. But in this area, they do have a lot of other shops. It's like a huge um, shopping center right here. So they have like, for example, Lowe's, um, they do have Petland, they have restaurants. Um, it's just a lot within this area. But I do want to take you to um, like where Costco is and tower shops where a lot of other shops are and they do have a lot of other shopping centers and for the most part you can actually find that off of university drive so university drive let me kind of zoom out i don't want to lose you so okay again we are looking at davy davy is this general area right so this is the street we're going to be looking at it's university drive and this is where costco is okay um, but this entire area, um, so you have like tower shops, you have Trader Joe's, you have even the Tesla supercharging station, you have Tap 42, you have Best Buy, you have so many shops. Um, but let's pretend maybe you're not within this area. There's also shops across the street here as, as well as over here. So in this entire area, it's just jam packed with so many stores. Let me zoom in further so you can see for yourself. Here, maybe this will help. So you have like Popeyes, you have Chick-fil-A, you have pizza, Flanagan's, that's huge, Taco Bell, um, you have Tap 42, Costco, as I mentioned, um, Office Depot, you have TJ Maxx, Sally Beauty, um, you have Best Buy, Trader Joe's, you have Dunkin' Donuts, um, Steakhouse, Pollo Tropical, Sushi, um, and what's really great about this, oh, even La Spada, Hoagies, that's a really great place, uh, Panera Bread, um, a huge reason why they have all of these off of University Drive is, in case you haven't noticed, there are schools here. Not only do they have Nova Southeastern University, they also have Broward College, and they have FAU, this is the Davy campus. It's a little hard to tell where they, um, where Broward College and FAU um, split because like, for example, when you enter, it says a massive sign Broward College FAU, um, which is Florida Atlantic University, if you haven't heard of that one, which is a major school. And they are predominantly in Boca, but they also have this site, this Davy campus, but it pretty much takes this whole part, um, this whole area, and I think I'm getting a little bit wrong because it extends a little further. And then they also have this, um, they have a middle school and there's even like a high school over here. All in all, they have this massive um, area of just all these students, all this campus. So of course, they're gonna have all the shopping right where all the students can actually get access to it. So everything is pretty much here. And then you have all these schools jam packed together. Since we're talking about schools, I'm not going to discuss FAU or Broward College or Nova Southeastern University specifically because all of those are great colleges. In fact, I know Broward College used to just be a two year accredited where you could get your associates. Um, they were Broward Community College and then became accredited to be able to give your four-year degree. So now they give bachelors, but that is, those schools are great. Um, but let's specifically talk about elementary, middle, and high school. Looking at schools, Davie has good schools. They're not top chart, great schools, 10 out of 10, but they're great, they're good. Um, so for example, if we look at, this is just elementary, they range from six to nine. I mean, who's going to complain, you know, even with a nine or eight, for example, here is Flamingo Elementary. You can clearly see that's a seven out of 10. This is greatschools.org. This is the actual Montessori Charter School, which is a nine out of 10. You have Silver Ridge, you have Nova, um, you know, Eisenhower, you also have the, the other Nova right here, which is Blanche Foreman Elementary School, which is a seven. And then lastly, you have, it's hiding back here. You have Somerset Academy, which is another charter. Oh, and Fox Trail Elementary. So they're really good schools when it comes to elementary. And again, this is Davy right here. Again, south of 595, 
east of 441 and also known as Florida's Turnpike, if you haven't heard that one yet. And then this is Griffin Road, also 818. Being at middle schools now in Davie, you do have, again, good ratings, six and seven from Indian Ridge Middle School, which is a seven according to greatschools.org. And then you have Nova Middle School, which is a six out of 10. For high schools, you have like either a six or a seven. So for example, you have Nova High School over here, or maybe a Western High School, which is a seven out of 10. If you're a golfer, they do have a few options here in Davie. So for example, they do have the Pine Island uh, country club. They do also have the Davy golf club. And then most importantly is the grand Oaks golf club also known for like where Caddyshack was filmed. And in case you are in the Davy area and you're thinking you can get in and maybe take some photos, you know, here at the Caddy Caddyshack, um, golf course, you can't, there's a gate you drive down this long road and then you come up to literally a gate and you have to hit a buzzer and they have to ask you, you know, like, how can I help you? You are what your tea time is and they have to figure it out and then allow you in. So many more videos just for you. So click right here. And if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe.